What's going on guys? Deadly here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Division 1. If you guys don't remember where we left off, we left off in the semi-finals of the Champion Shield and we're heading in with the BBVA team that we have. And this team, like I mentioned before, it's just absolutely outrageous. It's a team that works really, really well. It seems like every single time you need to find a pass or you have to find a certain player, everyone seems to be in the correct position. And I think that's probably due to work rates. Now, I don't usually build teams off of work rates, and I still didn't. This team, I didn't build off of work rates. I think it's one of those times where you accidentally get yourself a team that just functions really, really well. And right there, Serici stealing the ball from the defender and scoring. He's an absolute monster. Right here, Cruz finds an amazing pass to Piatti, who is going to skill the defenders a little bit so that Serici can get in some space and score that goal. So that's 2-0 already in the 23rd minute. But, um, yeah, this team, I think it's due to the work rates that everyone has and uh, how well they just function together. I, I'm going to have to look into it and tell you guys why it is that this team works so well, but it just does. I don't have an exact answer for you. It just does. So if you are having trouble with teams and you want a, uh, a, a team that just seems to really click together, uh, take a look at this team and copy it. Uh, there's no reason not to. It's a pretty cheap team. I think it was around maybe tops it was around like 23k i think so it's not very expensive and it's a very very good team and it has a lot of great players like cruz serci um Suza, Eta, and piate were two players that i didn't think were actually going to be too good i just kind of put them in there because i didn't want to spend too much money and they actually ended up being quite vital in the team they're extremely quick they both have four star skills and they're always in the right position like i said that team just clicks now moving on to the Bundes uh, to the Bundesliga Serie A team, it um, it's not that it doesn't click, but that fluidity when it comes to passing just isn't there quite yet. Uh, with that being said, they have good passing. So like right there, you saw a nice pass from Calahon all the way to Iguain, and he gets himself a goal right off the bat in the second minute. So it's not that this team doesn't have the capability. And again, look at that wonderful pass. But this that's kind of what it's limited to. You guys saw two very long balls, one to Ramos and one to Iguain. And Ramos there with a little bit of skill to get Iguain in through an open goal. And there it is. Um, but that's what this team relies on. It has two strikers. And so it relies a lot on long balls and being able to use both strikers in that situation. So like what you guys saw was me getting through with Ramos. Uh, opening up space for Iguain by sucking in the defenders and then giving it to Iguain so he can score. Right here, same thing. Uh, Ramos takes care of that defender, passes it off to Iguain, and Iguain scores a third goal in the 90th minute. And that's kind of how this functions. And sometimes it doesn't it's not as easy for example in this game it was pretty easy to break down the defense and get uh, um on two v two v ones and that's only due to my opponent maybe he wasn't very good at defending maybe he got a little bit overwhelmed um he was losing so maybe he was focusing more on attacking than defending so there's a lot of factors that go into that as we celebrate our champion uh shield win right there with the team and the subs behind there there's cruz everyone everyone's involved um but yeah, back to what I was saying, it's uh, two striker formations are really, really hit and miss for me. And that's kind of why I decided to try this one because it not only has two strikers, but it also has two uh, center attacking mids. So it's a little bit more attacking and it also has the center defensive mids at the back uh, to cover up for any mistakes that you made. But even then, it, uh, it seemed a little bit... Um, a little bit too spammy I have to I have to focus too much on my strikers and I have to force it to my strikers and the center attacking mids just don't get very involved now with that being said I do like the team I just I'm not sure I'm as good with the team as I am with the false nine the false nine is uh, is a team that I can say that I'm considerably considerably better with and I'm a lot more comfortable with however we head into the second uh, game with the uh, with the Bundesliga Serie A team and uh, once again, we're in the champion shield because we have to make sure that we're winning matches and we, we're that we're good at the game because we've been struggling quite a bit in division. So we head into the first cup match and Iguain right there just snatches the ball from the defender and takes an absolute rocket into the back of the net to make it 1-0. 
and this team was a little bit or this game was a little bit more frustrating it was one of those where i struggled to defend and that's kind of why i'm glad i went into the champion shield right there i run my defender into another one of my defenders and buffon is not going to be able to save that it's very well placed into the bottom corner and right here i do something stupid that i do over and over and over again why did i pass it to my goalkeeper again there's no real reason i guess i just got a little bit too cocky i thought i could probably clear it with my goalkeeper i wasn't able to i gave it away and now i'm two one down Later on into the game, he's able to get a wonderful breakaway. My my defenders part like the Red Sea, and we are down three to one. And that, again, that's due to stupid defending. Um, but but once again, uh, the strikers, the two striker things, it's very very important. So I'm able to pass it from Robles to Iguain, and Iguain is able to get through on goal to make it three to two. And once again, uh, you guys are about to see how the two striker formations work really really well. Right here, I'm through with. Calajon, I have two strikers in the middle. Uh, the defenders don't know who to cover. Ramos is through on goal, and there you go. Now we're three to three, and I'm thinking, ref, blow your whistle, send us into extra time, please. And the ref is not gonna do such a thing, but it's it's one of those things, you know. Five minutes of added time, more like 20 minutes of added time. I tackle him, he gets the ball. I tackle him again, he gets the ball once again. Uh, he puts a nice through ball into Biabiani. And I didn't think Biobiani was capable of scoring that, but he actually is able to score that. And that's kind of why I didn't tackle him. I thought he's just going to hit it into my defenders and I'll be able to just clear it. That's not at all what happened. He actually finished it and we lose 4-3. to three. So that's our first loss in quite a while. But uh, that's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day or night depending on when you're watching this. Peace.